Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show, show you how to do a few quick little edits that are non-destructive. And the first one we're going to do is in painting. So I'm going to make a new pixel layer and then I'm going to come down and click the in painting brush tool. And at the top you want to make sure that it says current layer and below. And from there, we can just use it like normal. We would just brush over the things we don't want. Make sure that your new pixel layer is the one that's selected over there. That's the one we want to be working on. And you just brush away whatever you don't want on the face. And it's on its own layer that you can turn on or off, change the opacity, change the blend mode. If you change your mind later on, you can just delete it and it doesn't destroy the picture below. And the second thing, so we're going to make another new pixel layer. And we're going to use the healing brush tool. And at the top it needs to say the same thing, current layer and below. And from there, she doesn't really have a lot that needs healing. Her skin's pretty good. So we'll just pick a spot over here and just alt click to choose your spot and then just brush the skin like you normally would if you were healing. And so there's the before and after. And another thing is the patch tool. You can do the patch tool in the same way. So we're going to make another layer. I'm going to come down and we're going to select the patch tool. But before we do that, I'm going to name my layers so that I don't get them confused. We're going to call this one in paint on skin. And we're going to call this one heal on skin. And we're going to call this one patch on scarf. And I'm going to come down to the scarf here. I'm going to move this layer down to right above the picture that I'm going to use. And it also needs to say current and layer and below, otherwise it won't work. And then just come down and just draw where you want to fill in. And then move it around to get it the way you want it. You can make it bigger, smaller, rotate it, however you want. And then when you've got your patch, see I made some mistakes. So you can turn this on or off and you can also get the eraser tool. And you can come over here with a soft brush and you can erase around the edges a little to kind of blend it better. There. And you can get rid of some of those hard edges. And then it just you know, blends your patch a little bit better. See? Yeah, you can take out some more of these. There. Alright. And one last thing I'm going to show you. Are the lips. So we're going to make a new layer. We're going to call this one lips. They're a little chappy. I don't want to get too crazy with it. I just want to get rid of this chappiness a little. So I'm going to take the brush tool, just a regular paintbrush tool, and I'm going to grab the eyedropper and I'm going to select a color that's not too dark and not too light. We want to find a nice in-between kind of color of her lips. That one work. And make sure that color is selected. And then we're just going to paint it on right over. If you're sloppy, you can erase it. <laughs> and we're just going to paint it right on there. And then we're going to come up here to the blend mode and we're going to change that to average. And if you like it like this, you can leave it that way. I think I'm going to lower the opacity a little. So we'll start it at zero. That's how it is before. And then you just kind of gradually move it up. 
I don't know. It'll be like 83. And it just takes that white chappiness off her lips without changing the picture too much. This also will work on her face. We're going to make another new layer. We're going to call this layer eyes. And we're going to do the same thing with the paintbrush tool. We're going to get the eyedropper and we're going to pick a skin color. Uh, I want a lighter skin color. We'll come over here. Not too light, not too dark. That's a good one. All right, with that color selected, we're just going to brush. Oh, I need to move the layer down. There. Not down, up. There, now it's on top. Okay. That's what I meant. All right, we need to just brush right where these dark circles are that I don't know why they're there. And then we come up to the blend mode and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to change it to average. And this one, I definitely will lower the opacity. And then just raise it up to where you want it. That looks pretty good. Now a little less. So there's the before and there's the after. So let's look at the whole thing. So I'm going to select all these layers that I yeah, just click on the top one, hold the shift key, <coughs> sorry, hold the shift key, and then click on all the adjustment layers that we just made. And then you can just click the little checkbox. It turns them all off. That's before and that's the after. So I hope you found that helpful. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And leave a comment below if you have a suggestion for a future video. Thanks for watching.